As expected, the Harkles have finally chosen to speak up in an effort to rival William and Catherine. Greetings and a sincere welcome to the Princess Diana News Channel. Harry and Meghan have chosen to weigh in on the Israel-Hamas conflict, as reported by Newsweek, an unsurprising move that should have been expected by all. To begin with, it should be noted that King Charles III recently made a significant public statement regarding the ongoing crisis last Wednesday. A representative of the king expressed the deep concern of His Majesty regarding this situation, emphasizing his request for regular and timely updates. He expresses his sympathy and solidarity to those experiencing hardship, especially those who have lost loved ones, as well as to those who are actively engaged. His Majesty is deeply shocked and denounces the savage acts of terrorism taking place in Israel. The king's decision to issue such a statement was highly suitable. During such challenging times, it is crucial for global leaders to unite. Indeed, King Charles holds the esteemed position of a global leader. William and Catherine, classified in the same group, subsequently issued a statement after a short interval. Recently, Kensington Palace released a statement expressing deep concern and sadness over the tragic events that have transpired in the past few days, affecting the Prince and Princess of Wales immensely. The brutal impact of Hamas's terrorist assault on Israel is truly distressing. They strongly denounce them. In the future, both Israelis and Palestinians will still grapple with sorrow, anxiety, and resentment while Israel exercises its self-defense. The victims, their families, and friends are in the hearts and minds of their royal highnesses. The individuals who crossed paths with the Prince of Wales in 2018 were largely united in their desire for a more promising tomorrow. Despite the intense suffering, the Prince and Princess persistently spread hope unreservedly. The message of support was beautifully written, displaying the usual elegance. I must say, their public relations team is quite competent. It is crucial for global leaders to unite and express strong disapproval of the actions carried out by Hamas. In order to effectively combat terrorism, such as the current situation in Israel, it is imperative for global leaders to vocalize their stance. We are receiving input from various world leaders including presidents, prime ministers, and even members of royalty. Therefore, it is highly logical and expected for William and Catherine to issue a statement immediately following King Charles's statement. This act symbolizes a significant display of unity. There is no denying the tragic circumstances unfolding in Israel at present. Upon perusing those messages, it became evident to me that it was inevitable for us to receive complaints from a pair of complainants who exhibit self-centered tendencies and feel compelled to insert themselves into every situation the bandwagon phenomenon played a significant role. In essence, why wouldn't Meghan and Harry seize the opportunity to join that popular trend immediately? Additionally, whenever the opportunity arises, they must strive against William and Catherine and King Charles. I had prior knowledge of its occurrence, but the timing remained uncertain. I believe we can all now find solace in the fact that the Middle East will experience a long-awaited period of harmony, my dear friends. The Harkles have voiced their opinions. According to Newsweek, they have recently emerged from silence regarding the Israel-Hamas conflict. A statement released by Archwell has announced Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's endorsement of Israeli partners and frontline organizations, as per Newsweek's report. Furthermore, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have finally spoken up about the ongoing conflicts in southern Israel that took place during the weekend. However, the statement contains additional information. At the Archwell Foundation, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, are united in our opposition to all forms of terrorism and brutality. We are offering our assistance to our partners and organizations who are actively working in Israel to provide immediate aid and aid to all those affected by this unacceptable amount of human misery. There are numerous aspects that require careful analysis in this situation. 
To begin, it troubles me that they claim Harry and Meghan are finally speaking out on this issue, suggesting that there was an anticipation for their response. Although I acknowledged my anticipation for their response, it does not imply my expectation of their assistance or the resolution of this situation. I was simply aware that it was inevitable. They are quite easy to anticipate. If they notice others engaging in virtue signaling, rest assured they will definitely join in. An illustration would be the recent expression of solidarity towards Ukraine in 2022, which was conveyed through a statement featured on Archwell. In light of recent events, Prince Harry and Meghan, along with the Archwell community, express their solidarity with the people of Ukraine in opposing this violation of both international and humanitarian law. They call upon global leaders and the international community to join them in taking a unified stand against this breach. I distinctly recall pondering this question in the past, and I am unsure if you were all tuned into this channel at that time, but we did discuss it. The question that I asked is why they believe people actually care. Who do they think they are to push others to take action? I must admit, even now I am still seeking an answer to that very same question, but it remains unanswered. It used to be Ukraine, but currently it is Israel. What makes Harry and Meghan think they are global leaders? Did they come to this conclusion on their own? It seems they believe it themselves, but they should be aware that there are untrustworthy individuals among them. And, as customary, this message carries no real significance. I don't understand the topic they're discussing. To begin, Prince Harry and Meghan, who hold the titles of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, are involved. Why was it necessary for Harry to have both titles? Did they expect us to forget his identity? Additionally, I was under the impression that as Americans, they would simply refer to him as Harry. He had intended to renounce his prince title. Although Harry appears to be trying to separate himself from his family, the reality is that he cannot relinquish the influence and privileges associated with his prince title. Consider how he cleverly managed to have everyone address him as His Royal Highness while in the courtroom. Harry is adamantly refusing to relinquish any of his royal privileges. Afterwards, it became evident that Harry and Meghan are firmly opposed to any form of terrorism and cruelty. Thank you very much, Harry and Meghan, for your kind response. Surprisingly, I didn't expect you to oppose acts of terrorism and brutality. Who would actually declare their support for acts of terrorism and brutality, I ask you? Once again, their extensive use of language fails to convey any meaningful information. I'm also interested in gaining further insight into the assistance they provide to their partners and organizations actively working in Israel. I am curious about the specific frontlines they are mentioning. Harry, you possess the qualities of a brave warrior. It is essential to have a solid understanding of this subject matter, but as always, it is evident that you lack this knowledge. They are committed to delivering the necessary immediate assistance. Do you mean to say that Meghan intends to distribute decaying vegetables and bananas with encouraging notes to the individuals affected? Indeed, it seems those who have suffered truly deserve such thoughtful gestures. Will it be similar to the situation in Uvalde, where Meghan provided nourishment in the form of sandwiches and chips to the volunteers following the massacre? Both of them are completely ignorant. I couldn't help but observe that this message is exceptionally ambiguous. They are deliberately withholding information about the organizations they support, as well as any potential partners, possibly due to the absence of any partnerships. Who would be interested in forming a partnership with them? It seems that they are primarily focused on benefiting themselves rather than the organizations they claim to assist. I believe Archwell can be considered as an organization in a technical sense. The specific type of assistance being sent remains uncertain as there is a lack of information or confirmation regarding any aid being dispatched. However, we should also consider the message conveyed by William and Catherine. It exhibited significantly greater strength. Harry and Meghan, in contrast, merely presented a superficial response without explicitly denouncing the actions, while others genuinely condemned them. In fact, they failed to denounce Hamas altogether. 
In essence, they expressed their disapproval towards brutality and terrorism. Nowadays, numerous individuals have the inclination to constantly interject with their opinions. Harry and Meghan exemplify this idea perfectly. What led them to believe it was necessary to voice their thoughts? This is unrelated to them. They are a pair of individuals residing in the United States, aiming to establish themselves as podcasters, advocates for social causes, and creators of content for Netflix. I am unsure about it. I still have doubts regarding that matter. I will need to respond to you at a later time regarding this matter. However, I can inform you about what they are not. They definitely do not possess any qualities or characteristics that would qualify them as leaders. They might be contributing funds as a result of the potential tax benefits associated with it. However, the actual number will never be disclosed as it would elicit strong emotions such as laughter or tears if revealed. It would be extremely pathetic. And due to their awareness of this fact, they intentionally choose to be extremely elusive and avoid providing detailed information about the nature of their assistance. I believe they are aware, to some extent, that the entire display is merely an act. They believe they can escape the consequences. Let's consider the insightful interview Harry conducted with trauma specialist Dr. Gabor Mate during his attempt to promote his questionable book, Spare. Seriously, he openly acknowledged his affiliation with Hamas. Harry, do you not perceive the usual hypocrisy that is present at this moment? It appears that both you and Meghan have a significant blind spot in that area. Now, more than ever in the course of history, we are in need of genuine leaders, my friends. We require individuals whom we can admire and aspire to become. We require individuals who serve as a role model, exhibiting optimistic behavior. We are in need of individuals who genuinely show concern. Intelligent rephrasing, continuously hearing nonsensical statements from a few hypocrites is unnecessary. We should avoid individuals who constantly strive to outdo their family members, as they are aware they will never be able to match their achievements. We certainly do not require individuals who dishonestly pocket a significant amount of donation money, portraying themselves as swindlers. The Harkles are unnecessary. What are your thoughts on this news? Feel free to share your insights in the comments section so that we can discuss and exchange ideas. Before you leave, Kindly remember to give this video a like and share it with anyone else who would find it enjoyable. Remember to subscribe to Princess Diana News Channel for ongoing updates. I greatly appreciate your continued viewership and wish you a delightful day. I look forward to reconnecting with you in my upcoming videos.